Let me tell you guys the requirements for a man to date. First, you have to make at least like $45,000 a year because I like nice things and I like to go out to nice places. My favorite restaurant is the Cheesecake Factory, Chili's, or Taco Bell. And you must have a car, especially Toyota, Nissan, Honda. My favorite one is the Toyota Prius. If you think you qualify, TM me. But no, really, she's got a little maintenance. $45,000 a year for a guy. I mean, she's probably just thinking of average, an average nice guy. An average nice guy. Was, damn, I can't even remember the last time I actually heard a woman ask for, <laughs> ask for an average nice guy and for an average night out in town. Like, dude, that, I actually, I'm just kind of surprised at hearing it myself. Damn. <laughs> I just want to know if this is a universal experience because I'm dating a heavier guy. I'm dating a teddy bear sized dude and he ate my cat like he never had food in his life before. And I just want to know if it's a big back thing or if he's my uh, husband. Yo, man, my uh, my 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 big guy's holding it down on this one, dog. Y'all definitely caught a W, all right. I'm giving y'all all full credit for this one, all right. Yeah, if y'all holding it down like that, go ahead and keep holding it down. You know, uh, she look like she about to just uh either marry you. She might even get on the knee and marry you at this point, dude. Keep eating the way you eat, dog. You might be fine. What up, though? Oh no. Who you looking at? I don't know, but oh no, swipe left for both. Ooh, oh, what up though? Good, what up though? You don't like that? No, ma'am. I'm I sorry. I don't give a fuck. How you doing today? Hey. How you feeling? I'm chilling. All right. You all right? Yeah, because he told y'all to go left. I'm saying. But you ain't even talk to us yet, though. I'll just say go to the right. I know, but you won't, you can't say what he say. You gotta just go off of what you say. I'ma say left. <laughs> I ain't going left. Well, beat him up. I don't wanna he fight him. Fight. <laughs> he got some for you. you cute. Got nah, I ain't got that for her. She too cute for me to be talking about having that for her. So why you say go left? You came up, what up, though? That's I how I talk. I ain't gonna change for you. You okay? You change it for me? Yeah, I'll try to be a gentleman for you. Oh, when well, I ain't no lady. And you smack your lip. You ain't no lady? Mm -mm. Hell no. She ain't a lady. Why would you even say that, bro? You were reaching, trying to get... Dude, he was almost going to give you some play. He was trying to say, I'll be a gentleman for you. Just imagine, dog. You trying so hard still to get shut down twice because you're just not a lady, dog. What? Tell me what man will want someone that's not a lady. Like, I... What are you? You gotta be a man at this point. Like y'all, y'all gonna be sitting on the couch playing Madden together. I promise you, dog. I, at this point, y'all gonna be playing one-on-one -on -one basketball. All right, she, you're gonna be wearing that man's boxers at this point. If you really not a lady, come on, dude. If Charleston, and then you took a shot at this man's eye, you really think he gonna want to keep you around? Nah, stop it right there. You just too hard and masculine at this point. You know, just blame that on your single mama. I just tried to get him to get some tires for the car since he drive it every day, and he. Won't get no tires. They literally fifty dollars per tire. Why are you have to TikTok everything? Because they need to see the type of shit you be doing. It don't no, make do sense. Even, no, do this make sense? What you're doing? Do it make sense that you drive every day, but you won't get no tires for the car, and they only fifty dollars per so tire? So they're fifty dollars. Why don't you put it on? Because the, you be driving it. The tires look like they look because of you. No, it's not because we both drive. It's fifty. Who drive more? It's 50 Who drive more? It's fifty. Who drives more? It's 50 Who drives more? It's no, 50 no, it's not fifty fifty. More like 80-20. I'm not, I'm not putting no, I'm not doing it though. Okay, then you can actually get out the car now. now. We don't have point? to be driving. Why do you try to act so tough for TikTok? Now? I'm not just acting tough for TikTok. I'm watching. This, this, is, me in real, this is me in real life, so. All right. Okay. You can pull over. I'm about to, actually. Okay, I'm waiting. You still ain't pulled over. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm 100 percent convinced that you like this type of stuff like i'm 100 percent that you like the fact that he just giving you a hard time buying new tires all right I, I i just i just think that you like toxic energy and you okay with it there's a reason why you're filming it and you want to share it all right you want some clout you want all this for it but you know hey look that's on you all right that's your old man all right if you got a problem with him not buying new tires and he driving it that's your car. You put on, he probably thinking you need to buy your own damn tires for that bad boy. This is how you tell if a man has money. Ooh, I am interested. Please lift your hand, Chris. 
Okay. Apparently, according to a study, the man's ring finger is longer than the index finger, which is the pointer. So if this one yep. is longer than this one. You got money. Hello, ladies. Oh, let go. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. So do you know who Zion is? Nah, but I heard him. Um... You heard you heard that name? Yeah, I heard that name. Keep it a complete bug. Like, have you linked Zion anywhere recently in the past three months? Yes. You need to leave. Yeah, yes. I mean, he tried to. But he he didn't do it. Y'all didn't do it. He tried to, but we didn't do nothing. You gave him head. We start to, but we stop. You started to, but you stopped. I started to, but I stopped. So like, okay, I ain't gonna lie. We got security right there. We feel me like you don't, ain't nothing crazy gonna happen. Like, did you do it or did you not? <laughs> Cause he seems pretty like bad about it. Hold on, hold on, be honest with you. You gave him head. I already told you. Now I want you to say it. Be clear. If you keep it on honey with me, you ain't even gonna trip on the. Dimpit. Huh? I don't, you don't even want to hear what she just said. I, nah, I said it. Dimpit. I do not believe in love. Where are you going? Say it one more time. You said it didn't fit. It was too. It was it. too big. It didn't fit. Oh! Stop it. Oh, man. This broke my heart, bro. This broke my heart. Some things you just don't need to ask. You don't need to pry and probe. Because you're going to get some information that's going to be gut-wrenching and heart-crushing. you got to end it all at this point. Dude, Zion out there walking around with a $5 foot long in his pants, bro. And uh, he is you are unmatched at this point. All right? Now I heard of real people. I mean, I heard the term baby leg, but Zion is out here with a baby leg, dog. All right. He, for some reason, dude, he, he got to buy two pair of shoes when he got to go buy an adult pair and kids shoes when he goes shopping. But really, if Zion would have went all the way and I know he she's like she tapped out like near the beginning. She would have got destroyed, my guy. I don't know what you would have came home to the next day. I, you probably would have, you probably would have, to, you know, had a chance to tell something has happened. All right, something has happened. She can't even say the right words because of Zion. She up there lose jaw. All right, she walking around with a, a, a limp and a like she got a TRL injury or something. All right, some dislocated hips. Zion then put her in a. a fucking wwe suplex powerbomb through a table type of move man so yeah man at this point you're gonna have to end this dog i feel sorry for you and there's a reason why this is a young question i feel like young men for some reason have to know this look guys y'all young men and i know y'all want to know don't ask crazy questions because you're probably going to get a crazy answer i'm just saying this you, you, you're going to ask hey am i the biggest guy you ever been with she might have an answer that's going to crush you, though. I'm just being 100% honest with you, though. It's just the first time you ever do. All right. All right. She's she going to have to lie to you at this point. Then you ain't going to like the answer. I'm just. Oh, man. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Have you seen this video? Because it is. Ooh. This dude was walking in Walmart and he saw a bunch of poop on the floor. Then I actually found out how the poop got onto the floor. I shit myself in Walmart today. What? I'm never going back to that Walmart you cannot. again. I can't. Okay, so I've not been able to shit for like four days. And okay. someone told me to get the dieter's drink. It's the China Green Dieter brand. It's like a green box. Right. And they're like, okay, yeah, like this will make you go to the bathroom. Like you'll feel better. I was like, great, this is what I need. I took it this morning. A couple hours have passed. Nothing's happened. I'm like, okay, great, whatever. I go to Walmart to pick up a couple things. I'm wearing a sundress. It's sundress season. Okay, and you don't usually wear panties with sundresses, okay? I was just feeling cutesy and artsy and I guess fartsy. Except the farts turned into shit. I was in the bathing suit section of Walmart. They had a great new selection of bathing suits. And you know the bathing suits are right in the front. I go to fart because... I felt like it, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought, and there's nobody around me. I was like, I know, it's probably going to be like a silent a one. A small cutesy. 
And what I did... What? What'd you do? Stuff came out! Oh! It came out! It plopped on the ground! Mm -hmm. And I thought... I was... I did not... I, I denied it. I was in denial for yeah. like a good 10 seconds. I was yeah. like, no way. I just stood there frozen. Didn't even... Couldn't even look. Couldn't even bring myself to look. There's shit on the ground. It doesn't surprise me that she took a poop on the floor, bro. Look at those eyebrows. Those eyebrows uh, says she has some sort of, <laughs> she has some mental disability. I, I, and I'm not trying to poke fun at mental disabilities, but her eyebrow just look bad. Like, why, how you just really just, Walmart has two bathrooms, man. I'm just standing up bathroom in the front and the bathroom in the back. Now, how you just take a dookie on the kid's toy aisle? I'm just, I don't know, bro. I don't know. That just gives me insane vibes at this point. And if you haven't liked this video, like the video for algorithm purposes, please. All right. And if you like what you see, please subscribe later on in the video. I appreciate you. Let's just jump right into it. I feel like men don't know this. So I'm going to say it. When you guys bring up baby talk, any type of baby talk, you automatically just disqualified yourself. I'm going to put a baby in you. Oh, we can have kids. Oh, you look like you can have, you be a good woman. Ooh, I put a woo. Disqualified. Because why the fuck you even think I want to hear that? You got to go, bitch. This is exactly how men feel when y'all bring up marriage talk. Let's just uh, run the same energy back. and just want to let y'all know. You know, I've done that. She don't want a puppy. She want a big dog challenge quite a few times now, right? I mean, it's making me realize... You're not cooked if you're not six foot plus. If your face card is, is valid, you can get by if your face card is right. I'm looking at my comment section. I'm, I, I ain't no six nothing. But that face card, if that face card right, you just might get by, my brother. You're not cooked. All right, what you're saying might be truth. Is there some truth behind this, guys? You don't have to be exactly six foot or taller, but as long as you got a decent looking face and some good hygiene, you can get by. You can get by, all right? Really, it's all about the swag. I feel like every girl wants a six foot man, but I feel like you got some, you got enough bridge, you can get by. I don't care how tall you is. You, gotta, you put on a decent charm, all right? You wear some nice clothes, you have some good hygiene, you can pull. You can pull. Don't worry. Don't you worry about it. You can pull. I'm just using this comment to also add that if she is not initiating some kind of intimacy at least once a week, she doesn't like you. If she's not cooking and cleaning for you and not showing that innate ability in her to want to take care of you and take pride in that because she feels good making you feel good, she doesn't like you. And to all the men in my comment section constantly saying that you've gone five or six years without any type of intimacy, she doesn't fucking like you. I'm not going to automatically assume that there's another dude on the side, but she's definitely talking to somebody else or she's planning her exit. And I will say, just to add to this point, is that so many women fall in love with the process and don't fall in love with the person. So as soon as that lust factor wears off, she doesn't fucking want you anymore. And it's always, I never knew what I saw in him. But then she feels stuck or she feels like she can't leave and then she'll have babies with you because you're the safe option. Meanwhile, she never liked you in the first place. She just liked how you made her feel. Stop settling for these lukewarm relationships because I promise you there's women out here that still take pride in taking care of their family and their men and wanting to initiate intimacy to show that they love you and that they care about you. Okay, bye. You had me at if she's not initiating intimacy once a week. You had me at the very first part. If she's not cooking and cleaning for you, oh, she hates you. <laughs> she, if, she, if she's not offering to give up the cheeks, she just doesn't like you right now. If she's not cooking or cleaning for you, she hates your ass. She don't love you. <laughs> you better move on, boy. You're in trouble. So now it seems women are coming to the realization that they don't want to be an independent woman that don't need no man. Now they want a man, but it's too late because your careers is what came first. So I'm going to tell you like Samuel L. told them on Django. Corporate America gonna work you <laughs> all day, every day, until your back give out. <laughs> and you know what's funny about that? One of my exes, her back just literally gave out from working too hard. <laughs> and I'm a petty person, so I'm not the type of person that's gonna feel sorry for you if your back go out. And I told you, you was working too hard and your back was gonna go out. I'm the type of person that's gonna look at you in your eyes and say, 
I told you so. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it because I told you this is not the way that things were built to work. It's supposed to be men that put our backs on the line. It's supposed to be men who put our lives on the line. It's supposed to be men who are strong. You guys are supposed to be soft. That's the way that we were made. Now, at the end of the day, if you look at the comments on this video, you will see a lot of men saying, it's too little, too late. It is indeed over. I'm sorry, for most women, the large majority, it is over. You're gonna be working to Jesus cracks the sky to take us all back to glory. Like I said, they gonna work you all day, <laughs> every day, <laughs> until you back it out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I know somebody, bro. She uh, she's a nurse. She's single. She got one kid. She ain't never been married, and uh, she uh, legit work 50, 60 hours, 70 hours a week. I know nurses work crazy hours already, but she work a lot of hours. She's still single, and is she a nurse? <laughs> she been single for God knows how long. Now, when I say single, has she dated? Yeah, all right. But what she has she ever been in a long term relationship? Nah, y'all, she just stuck in work. And like, it's just sad to see because, man, she worked her ass off. Really nice person, high ass standards, all right? But the problem is when you go bring up that income as a single person, sometimes it doesn't work in your favor. As much as you want to say you worked, you can only, there's so many hours in a week that you can work. Let's just be honest. But when you have that joint income, when you are with someone, Things work in your favor. I'm just saying. You got a point. Y'all, why do I feel like we are not making the men big as much as we need to? I am the win here. Like, you need to be chasing me. Now she goes on to say that women are the prize. And she's sick of seeing girls chasing men. Men should work to get them because they are the prize. A man will be lucky to get one of them. So let me help this young lady out. The reason men no longer chase is because of women. Now let me explain that to you. In 2024, women want the top 10% of men. And I keep telling y'all, those men are not going to chase you. But there are men out there who will chase you. They are in the bottom 10% of men. Those men are chasing women every day. They just get ignored. Then you have that group between 10% and 90%, regular everyday men, but those men are not chasing. See, those men between 10 and 90%, they realize that most of the women that wanna be chased ain't worth chasing. They've learned their lesson. So they just go about their life. If they meet a girl, they meet a girl. If they don't, they don't. So now the only group of men you have to chase you are the bottom 10% of men. Y'all don't want them. So this is why you and other women feel like men don't chase anymore because the men that y'all want don't chase you. So if you want a man to chase you, go to the bottom 10%. If you want a man to approach you and you guys both invest in each other, you stay in that 10 to 90% range. If you want a man that you have to chase, you go for the 10% man. I hope this helps, but I know you women don't listen, so it doesn't matter, but it is what it is. What she want us to beg for, man? Problems? Ran through cheeks? All right, issues? Baby, she wants us to beg for baby daddy issues? She want us to beg for bad credit. She want me to beg for losing half the house in 10 years. Nah, yeah, yeah. She got the wrong one, guys. She got the wrong one.